this is Candace and Mark with CheapToGeek.com and uh, today we are doing an unboxing video of uh, the most recent Loot Crate uh, that we just got in the mail today. Um, this arrived in October but I believe this is the September edition of Loot Crate. Oh, okay. So do you know what the, um, the theme for this one is? Um, the theme I believe, um, and we'll confirm this when we open it, but I think it's... Um, is it Kingdom? It's okay. uh, well, let's mythical find out. something. Okay. Um, so here we go. First item. Mark, you might go ahead and pull that. Okay. And we will swap. All right. So the first item is a um, Ghostbusters figure. Um, yeah, definitely get a shot of that. Yep, so this looks like a statuette or some kind. Um, and the uh, writing on the back says he came, he saw, he kind of got his ass kicked by four guys in jumpsuits. But the Traveler isn't one to back down from a fight. He's been training to be the best around for his next showdown with the Ghostbusters by watching 1984's other instant classic, The Karate Kid. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open this up so we can actually see what this figure looks like. So this is some kind of Karate Kid Ghostbuster mashup. Alright, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Never heard of that. But it's like a T-Fury shirt brought to life. Um, okay, so... Go ahead and get that out. Okay. And so why don't you get the base out and I'll get the figure out. Okay. Do that. And he is in here. Oh, that's actually like a little version of the city. Right. And this is the the tower, the building. And so I think he. How does he fit into it? Uh, somehow. Hold on. Specific way. There we okay. go. So, yeah. Oh, okay, so now I get it. He's doing the little Danielson last kick uh, at the, the the crane kick. Yep. Using the um, the tower of Gozer the Destructor as his little post, as if he were. Uh, training at the ocean with Mr. Miyagi. And he's got the little red headband on, his sailor cap jauntily askew. Okay, well that's and... pretty adorable and actually probably going in the case. Um, so, next up, um, it looks like there's a, a towel. Um, so, I know... Stranger Things was one of the themes for this loot crate. And I'm going to need you to hold this in front of the camera for me, Candace, because my arms aren't long enough. But um, this appears to be a blanket. Um, so we're going to... Yeah, this is a Stranger Things, uh, maybe beach towel um, uh, of Barbara. Or like a throw. Yeah. It's, it's very... Um, it's kind of thin. Thin and light on the background. There's only printing on the front. But it's a very 80s mod. And if you lower it just a little bit, Candace, it's got um, R.I.P. Rest in Peace Barb yeah. um, on the top of it. And it's got her, her little face. And at the very top it says Stranger Things. So a little hard to get in the shot. But um, yeah. All right. So kind of an exciting little... Uh, Little thing, maybe something to cuddle up with while you binge watch Stranger Things on Friday. Alright, so next is uh, the t shirt. Or, no, this is not a t shirt. I guess you're getting the towel in place of the t shirt. So, this is a, uh, a little like case for your um, toiletry bag. 
And it says, whoever holds the hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. That is awesome. Yeah. Oh, I'm stealing this. And the, um, the handle on this actually looks like the, um, the wood and the hammer in the, uh, the Avengers movies for Thor's hammer. So this is uh, Meow Meow, I think it's called, the hammer. Yeah, I'm out. Okay, I, I know. Yeah. Okay. But uh and then um we've got a couple other things. There's a um a book in here that's called the Bestiary. Um so Supernatural Bestiary book. It's a nice hardcover. There's some um very nice print quality. To the outside of it, and if we open this up, okay. Oh wow, that's some really nice art in there. Yep, has some very beautiful illustration. Almost looks like uh, Bernie Wrightson type uh, illustration. Very horror themed, and um, all the pages are entries about supernatural creatures, their history, um, information about them. So it's kind of a nice little book, um, coffee table type thing you might put out for people to look at and, and enjoy in your home. Yeah, very cool. And then the last thing in here is, is the pin. Uh, and this actually is for 2017. It's actually mythical. Uh, that October. was the thing. Yeah, mythical. Okay. And so we've got a... Wolfman? What's yeah, that? it looks like a... Kind of a mod uh, looking wolfman. He's got like a plaid shirt and um, he's given the toothy grin. And um, yeah, so that's kind of exciting. And uh, the little booklet, can you hand me that? So this is our mythical Loot Crate DX guide. Um, and it shows definitely <coughs> some of the. items that we've looked at today so we've got um the barb uh exclusive uh barb pool towel that's what that is uh the exclusive uh pin our ghostbusters karate kid figure the supernatural bestiary book and then the thor um toiletry kit so that's uh pretty much everything in loot crate dx box uh, Candice, what are your thoughts about this one? You, um, you've been shelling out every month for these yeah. for me. Um, I think the, um, I think it's a beach towel, personally. Um. Yeah, it's just yeah. a pool towel. Okay, so, I think the pool towel plus the, um, um, the toiletry bag make it absolutely worth it. I love the toiletry bag so much. Um, and then I think the Karate Kid Ghostbusters Stay Puft Marshmallow Man is really cute. Um, I mean, we'll definitely probably display um, the Supernatural Bestiary book, uh, but I don't really watch Supernatural, so that's not something that um, I'm super personally interested in. Um, I think it's interesting that this month they gave a pool towel, especially with it being October. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, that's weird that that didn't happen in the summer. But I understand that with it being Stranger Things thing, that they're trying to make it coincide with the show. Um, but I think um, it's interesting that like uh, they swap that out instead of the T-shirt. So um, mm. I I'm personally happy for that because. The t-shirts are always for you, and I can actually use this for right. now. So. <laughs> yeah, it is It is a weird pick for September, but I get the, the Stranger October. Things, or October, uh, I get the Stranger Things tie-in. I do like um, uh, Stay Puff daniel -san. I think he's very cool. Um, I, I dig the pin. I think the pin's neat, although I don't really wear pins, but I, I put them on my laptop bag. Um, the book is cool, but it is sort of a curiosity and honestly, the pool towel and the toiletry bag are kind of more for you. So yeah, it's and a mine. it's a grab bag. <laughs> so one of the reasons that we switched over to Loot Crate DX is a few months ago for the I think it was Beast was the theme of that crate. Um, they had two uh, figures, NECA figures. They had a Godzilla one and a Predator one in the same box. 
and I have I haven't seen since then uh, a box quite as epic as that one, but we definitely have seen a, um, an improvement in the quality of the stuff that comes with uh, the DX as opposed to the the traditional loot crate. Yeah, the the re traditional loot crate was more just like. I don't know, like little tchotchke things. Yeah, desktop um, curiosities. Yeah, and, yeah, we kept getting a lot of pencils too. Yeah, and I was like, okay. We still have some stuff with out your the theme pencils. Yeah, so. pencils and coloring books and things. So, yeah, so this is good. Um, like I said, it's a it's a more of a mixed bag, and if you don't uh, like me, don't have a, a super uh, big use for a pool towel with Barb's face on it. Um, you might be a little disappointed, but I do, I do like their chance at, uh, their, their attempt at a really good theme. And, um, I'm hoping next month, I believe is supposed to be United is the name of it. And, um, it's, uh, themed for the Justice League film. Okay. So, um, we'll be happy to unbox and show what we got with that one. All right. Thanks guys.